Booktube, this is me again for the second time tonight. I'm downloading the video I just made a, uh, this evening. This is a second video, and what this video is, is kind of like books that I was reading this month, and maybe last month, that I haven't put down into the lower level. I haven't given up on these books. So what I'm saying, I might get back into these books and not necessarily read the books that I mentioned in my previous video. Uh, it's kind of, when you're a bookworm, you get into certain kind of, you read a book and then you put it down. If you don't get back into it, sometimes it's really hard to get back into it. It's, you put it down for a, a couple of weeks. But I really haven't gotten to the point where I want to put these books down on the lower level. I still have enough interest to finish reading them, so I'm st I haven't given up on them. So I just wanted to show them again. I've you've seen these books in the last couple of videos, but I'm just going to show them because I'm sitting here tonight. It is 8:15 at night, last day of May. I'm by myself drinking water, trying to get over this cold. And also, I forgot to mention, I got two other books uh, today at a thrift store that I was reading this evening. One of the books I have already in, my, in our library, and this is the book, One Man's Meat. These are essays by E.B. White, who uh, he wrote all kinds of things. Uh, the Trumpet of the Swan, the very famous children's books, uh, Charlotte's Web, uh, St Stuart Little. He, uh, I collect his writings. I have his letters, uh, biographies, essays, children's books. He wrote a book on, what's that book called? It's nonfiction, Elements of Style. Remember that when I was in college and seminary, I looked at it all the time. Uh, so yeah, so I was reading that the, tonight, and I got this at a thrift store the day. I had this in hardback. This is only you know I got this for uh, you know fifty cents, and tonight I was reading his little essay on Walden. It was written in uh, June of 1939, and what E. B. White's doing. He's looking at Walden at the time that Henry Thoreau wrote Walden and what Concord was like at that time period. And then he's writing what Walden is like in 1939. And he's talking about driving a car and a radio and all the modernization and how Concord has changed from the time that Th Thoreau lived there. and how that Thoreau's house is now an inn that people stay at when they visit Concord. and So I was reading that little essay. I, re I really like uh, E.B. White's writings. Uh, I, la a couple years ago I read his letters and when he was really young he drove across the United States when there was really no roads and really it was in interesting. He's So this is One Man's Meat. It says here, a personal record of life on Maine Coast salt water farm. So I got that today at a thrift store. And I also found uh, those who watch my videos know I'm into the writings of Louis Akaklas. I read a novel of his a couple months ago and I collect his writings. This is his little biography on Edith Wharton, A Woman in Her Time. I was reading that this evening. There's all kinds of photos. Uh, in here of Edith Wharton. I have a biographies. I have Edith Wharton's biographies, literary studies, novels. Uh, I collect. I there's Edith Wharton when she was younger. She has come from a wealthy family. There's when she is older when she's writing, and so I got that today. I was reading that, and uh, I showed this book in my last video. I got at. The Goodwill. This is The Cannibal in Manhattan. Now, I was at Goodwill a week ago or two weeks ago or probably a week ago and I saw this novel and I didn't buy it. But even though it looked kind of interesting, it looked kind of you know provocative. 
So today when I was went to Goodwill, I was hoping it'd still be there so I could buy it. And uh, it's called, and I didn't know anything by who Jama Jar, Jarowitz was, but she uh, she's written a lot of novels and she has a new memoir out this this year, or it was, a, I think, a memoir about her growing up. But I'll just read you the description of this novel and why it kind of intrigued me. And you see these kind, there's kind of uh, things inside of it. I'll take off the thing. Uh, it's like you look inside of it. There's all these kinds of crazy photos in here. Uh, so yeah, there's all kinds of uh, drawings inside the novel. I'll just read it to you. It says here, a cannibal in Manhattan. What happens when a purple-skinned and Udite one-time cannibal enters the malastorm, malastorm of Manhattan? A cannibal in Manhattan is a modern-day candy, a sharply satirical autobiography in words and pictures of one man's life and fate in the world's most cannibalistic city. As Talma Janowitz proved in Slaves of New York, she is a master of alchemist of the fantastical and the hyper-real and possesses an ironic intelligence and new wave sensibility unparalleled among contemporary chronicers of postmodern life. End of quote. Her new novel, complete with photographs of her cast of characters posed for by such luminaries as Andy Warhol, is an adventurous personal account of the first cannibal ever to become a New York celebrity. So I'm, I'm not going to read the whole what's in there, but it just kind of intrigued me. So I was kind of, so to, to, tonight I looked her up, I didn't know who she was, but she has a following. and So yeah, I got that. I didn't show it. Well, I did show it, but I didn't tell you what it was about. So going back to what I was been reading and what I didn't take down the lower level, what I was reading in May, what I was reading in, what was before May? It was April, May. I was in April. I still kept up here uh, Ernest Hemingway's The Sun Also Rises because I was reading Everybody Behaves Badly, a true story behind Hemingway's masterpiece The Sun Also Rises by Leslie M. M. Bloom. I still might read these in June. I was really enjoying this before I got sick. I really didn't get much into this book. I only got like, you know, 37 pages. And I still want to read that. And I still want to read The Ambulance Drivers. Hopefully I might get back into it. Hemingway, Dos Passos, and a Friendship Made and Lost in War. The Ambulance Drivers by James McGrath Morris. I still got this up here. And I was reading before I got sick this novel, Gods Without Men. Harry uh, Curzo, I was really enjoying this, and I still want to see what how it comes to an end. So I might just one day, when I'm really feeling well, I just might read it to the end. I could do it in one day, one afternoon. And I've been reading the Knicks for I don't know how long. I I didn't really enjoy this read. I found it kind of boring, poor writing, poor plot development, poor character development. Uh, it was not really great, but I'm almost finished with it, so I might finish it still. I haven't, I haven't given up on it, so I've kept it up here. If I take things down to lower level, that means I probably won't get to it for a long time. And I was reading, before I got sick, The Dream Maker, Jean Christoph Ruffin. I was really enjoying this. It was a very adventurous story. It... it I just I might get back into it, and I was really enjoying reading the Mad Enchantment, Claude Monet, and the painting of the Water Lilies, by Ross King. I was really enjoying this, and I I might get back into it. Uh, I checked out the library, this new biography of Ernest Hemingway, Mary V. Dearborn. I'll probably take this back. I'm not I'm not going to read it. And I was reading uh, The Spanish Civil War, Reaction, Revolution, and Revenge by Paul Preston. I was really enjoying this. I was really getting into it before I got sick. And I still want to read it. And I still want to read Spain in Our Hearts, Americans in the Spanish Civil War. 
1936 to 1939 by Adam Hotchtop. So I still want to read these things. I haven't given up. I'm not sure if I'll read them in June, but I'm going to keep them up here on my table by my reading chair up here. If I keep things up here in, in the main level of our house and I don't put them down on the lower level, that means I might get back into reading them. But I don't really, I can't really know for sure. Because like I said, I got sick the last couple of weeks and I've just been reading ancient church history, reading my uh, uh, exposition of the Nicene Creed, just reading about Harry Cruz, the, the writer, and uh, just kind of out of it. But I was, I like, you know, like I said, I was really enjoying The Dream Maker. Uh, I was enjoying these books, The Ambulance Drivers and The Spanish Civil War. I, I was reading Ernest Hemingway's. I was, I was kind of getting into it. I never read Ernest Hemingway. I have never read him except maybe his book on bullfighting. And I was really enjoying Everybody Behaves Badly. Uh, so I don't know. I haven't given up on these books, but who knows? Uh, I got a lot of books to read. I got books coming in the mail. I got book. I'm going to. There's a big book sale in June. Friends of the Library book sale. But to me, like I always say, what's important is not always finishing a book. What's important is that you're reading. And you should read because of, of enjoyment. If you, don't get, if you don't enjoy reading something and you get bored with it, I personally just won't finish it. So that's my philosophy. Everybody has their own reading habits. Uh, I just enjoy the... I, I like the activity of reading. And I read... Not primarily to be entertained. I read to be educated, to learn things, to have my my understanding of reality in this world expanded, to know about history, know about art, music, literature, the history of the novel, about the Spanish Civil War, to know about people like writers, Ernest Hemingway, to know about the art movement, impressionistic art movement, Claude Monet, and that's what I try to do, just try to educate myself, self-education, that's it, and uh, improving my, my mind, keep my mind busy, because uh, when you get older, you don't want your mind to become a big block of cement, cement, concrete. So anyway, uh, this is my second video for tonight, is May 31st is now 8.27. I'm getting hoarse. And I'll download this video until next time. And once again, I do enjoy the comments. I do like hearing about what you're reading. Uh, so yeah, so feel free. Till next time, bye.